So guys, before we get started, don't forget we do have that amazing discount code, thanks to Tier Zero Games, going on right now. And all you have to do is put in ZW Games five to get five percent discount on your total order at tierzerogames.com. The links will be in the description below. What's up, YouTube? Dan here from Zephyr Games, bringing Rob's third place Shadol deck profile and this is pure as well no mech knights I'm pretty sure it's budget I don't think it's got anything here that's gonna break the bank for you guys so I'm gonna run you through the deck show you what you got and he came third today facing up against a bit of range of absolutely everything uh, in the current meta so he starts off with the one Falco double Squamata double Hedgehog double Dragon Triple Beast, that's a bit of an interesting one to me. Uh, I'm assuming it's just to get the additional draws, get the additional sends. Um, might need to swap that ratio around a little bit, but it worked for him well today, uh, getting third. Prank Tops, so this is mainly about going second, because that's obviously what the Shadow Fusion does, and it's also what Prank Tops does the best. Triple Vela, Triple Ash. If you do have, of course, Imperms, you'd probably swap them out for Velas, because the Imperms are a little bit more consistent, but they are a bit expensive. Then got the one Nibiru, main deck it, why not? If you main deck it less than one, it can be quite bricky. Main decking it at one, if you face up against a deck and open it up, it can really, really break them. If not, it's not that much of a worry because you're not gonna go into it consistently. It's also a light as well, so it can be used as a target for Construct. The one Glark Bulb and the one Trick Clown to finish off the monsters. Obviously Trick Clown keeps recycling itself. Glark Bulb as an earth target, and of course I believe, let's have a quick look. You don't run any synchros. Why do you want Glark Bowl? Link plays. For link plays. <laughs> Glark Bowl for link plays in 2019, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, <laughs> triple Call by the Grave. Triple Mind Control. Triple Inst... Uh, not even triple. Double Instant Fusion, sorry. Again, all going second cards. All there to disrupt your opponent's board. Uh, and pretty much go in for the kill and the win. Triple Shadow Fusion. Of course, it is a go second there. And you want to resolve this as quickly and as easy as possible. And then we've got double uh, El Shadow Fusion and triple Super Poly, because not only can Super Poly help get you into your monsters, it can also help you break your opponent's board too. Then we've got the one of the Monster Reborn, the one Foolish Barrel, and the one Marsh Change 2. This is certainly techie, certainly very, very interesting. Um, Marsh Change 2 is obviously going to be really, really good because you discard a Shadow card uh, and then you go into a Dark Lord, which is obviously going to cause your opponent a heck of a lot of issues. So you can see with the budget on that one, there is no Phantasmase. These as a common should be crazy cheap right about now. Your, your Ash Blossoms, your Veilers, all of that is very, very cheap. So easily a 30 quid, if not less deck just in there. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can get a play set of Shadol Fusion Secrets for about 10 quid as well. Moving on to the extra. I'm just gonna quickly check this one out because bro, you couldn't even organize this for me, could you? We've got the one Construct. Now that's only because he only has one Construct. If you have more, of course you play more than one Construct. There's no reason not to. For the other Shadol cards, we've got Free Window. Is it Free Window? Yeah, there you go. Free Window. This could be an easy instant fusion target if you want to and just need to get an additional Shadol on board. Otherwise, going into Window, something that can't be destroyed by uh, card effect, is very, very good against Dracos. The only issue is it hasn't got that attack to be able to get rid of the board. So, not so much the special summon lockout, but merely the fact that it can't be destroyed by card effect. If you then can make this and start popping off your opponent's back row, they can't destroy your Window. Then we've got the one Shekinaga, uh, obviously a very, very powerful kind of negation play as well within the deck, and the one Grista. If you do want to play Mathematician, you can, of course, do that, and Grista can be summoned off of uh, Ash Blossom. The one thing around with this deck as well is it doesn't have an Anon Telis because, again, it's a little bit more expensive, so we tried to keep this on the budget side. For your Instant Fusion targets, you've got the one Thousand Eyes of Restrict. Uh, you can play more than one Thousand Eyes, of course. Uh, if you wanted to, you can put Millennium Eyes in here as well, and it gives you a first turn protection play. That's going to be more for the side deck if you want to add it in. Because like I said, this is all about going second, breaking your opponent's board, setting up a disruption, uh, and then going from there. For your Instant Fusion targets, you've got the one Swamp King, uh, not Swamp King, Mud Dragon of the Swamp, your Dracus de Pelio, your Predator Typhon de... I'll never get this one right, but the Triple Headed, Predator Plant and a Sarvin Venom, so you got Triff. Triff, there you go. The Triff Fusion. You got the triple, the double, and the double if they try to bounce around playing two darks on board. And then for the final fusion, of course, Dark Claw. And then for your links, you got a one link one of Link Karibo, one link two of Lambda, and a one link four of Borrowload. And actually I saw him today and the Borrowload put in a lot of play. 
um, actually did quite well for him against Dracos. Even stole an Aminawato, because, you know, why not? The Aminawato was face down, by the way, just so you're clear on that one. Uh, so yeah, that is a quick little blitz through uh, a budget Shadow deck that is very, very powerful, very, very useful, uh, and it's nice to see this deck being used and abusing the meta. He played it for fun today and actually caught a lot of people off guard. Uh, and like I said, took it all the way to third place. Uh, and I believe he was joint with second as well. I think there were four ones. But it's still very, very good to kind of see this deck out and about uh, and actually being used in um, a budget format as well or a budget version. Uh, if you do want to add more money into it, of course, there are ways of doing so. But for now, as a budget version, it does do very, very well and can cause issues, especially if you want to keep it pure and not dilute it with stuff like Met Knights that can, of course, help extend it. But um, you want to keep it more contained in the pure and pretty much retro fashion. Anyway, I uh, hope you like this. Uh, please give it a big thumbs up if you did. Uh, it would be nice to see how Rob evolves this deck and see if it goes a little bit further forward as well. He definitely needs to get hold of some more constructs, which shouldn't be too hard to do for him on that one. But for now, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And until next time, guys, as always, happy dueling. What's up, YouTube? Dad here with Zephyr War Games. Thanks for watching that video. If you liked it, please hit that big thumbs up button in the bottom corner as well. And don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And make sure you click that notification bell as well so you know every time one of our new videos goes up. Throughout the whole year of 2019, we're gonna have more deck profiles, duels, and of course, pack openings for you guys to watch and enjoy the entire year round. So stay tuned for more, and as always guys, happy dueling.